All right, thanks for joining. May the most high bless your hearts, your souls, your lintel doorpost. All right, so last time we were here was uh, BL Bayal Z Boule came across in the Testament of Solomon. It's Bull, bull, not bub or any of that stuff, appears as the prince of the demon, saying that he was formerly a leading heavenly angel who was associated with the star Hesperius. That's the normal Greek name for the planet Venus as the evening star. They're very confusing because we're just going to go over to it. Seemingly Beelzebule, here synonymous with Lucifer, the light bringer. So we go to Hesperius. It says that he is, variant names, the evening star. The planet Venus is the evening. His name is sometimes conflated with the names for his brother and his mom. The per Now his brother is the personification of the planet as the morning star. Eos, Eos, that's the mom's name, Eos Phorus, which they now, he, as a male, he is false Phorus. There's the mom's name right there, Eos. Phosphorus is Lucifer. Hesperus is Jesus which we know as Jesus. So Lucifer, who is Phosphorus, the half-brother, is also known as Helel, the bright and shining one. So when you go to Arabia and all those places, they practice that and they have the Halel meets. That's the God they worship. One side of the planet, which we don't have a planet, worship Halel, calling him something different. The other side, worship Jesus, Hesperius, calling him Jesus. The right hand and the left hand, that's what we've been learning, right? So, as we go further, here we have De Mama. We know her as Mary, okay? I'm going to scroll down. Now, her parents are Hyperion and Thea. That's going to be, never mind. Siblings, Helios. Consort, Astraeus. That's the wind, one of the winds. See all these? These are all the people. So we go to... Astrios bears other wind beings. Scroll down right here, the German equivalent, Easter. We all know her as Easter. So, we're going to go over here. Easter, the spring goddess, pronounced E A S T R E or E R, Easter. So, you've been played, we've been played. Phosphorus. Everybody in this Christian society says, oh, Lucifer, and this is what he is. All the information is right here. The Saturn, Jupiter, stupid shit, right? So, then that takes us one last step to the image. Here we have the Syrian pound. And this is why the Most High says the situation with Syria, when Damascus falls, or what do they do? They push this. Hmm? The red and the blue. The blue, the blue Kachina, the red Kachina. However you want to view it. Now we're going to go forward. All right, then that leads us over to King Ptolemy, which comes up in the Old Testament and in the book of Matthew, probably more places, but it should not come up in the book of Kings with the kings of 
Israel and Judah and the New Testament. So obviously something is wrong here. And then we find out that King Tal Ami is the Ptolemaic dynasty. Okay. So as we went further, Ptolemy, it tells us Ptolemy, the father of Mecca. Now, what do they put that cube at? Mecca. So here we have, what does it say? Tall M A I. It's T A. No, this is A M I. They just reversed it. Going what? One way. Go, go, you know, going the wrong way on a on a one way road. Here we go. All may my furrows, right? Whatever. And he says in the Aramaic version, he's clearly Greek Ptolemy. So the idea that they just swap the name around. So he's very important because and is the origin of Bartholomew. So they're not so they're not confusing any of this. We're being confused to mislead us. That's all. We don't even have to worry about that. Let's skip right here. King of Gesher. So every time I say the King of Gesher during a certain period, it's actually Ptolemy, which means Alexander was before that. So they sit here talking about the situation in Second Samuel. Then that mean what? Ptolemy lived during the time of Second Samuel. If Second Samuel is going over the kings of Israel and David, they's living at the same time. There's no playing around with this anymore. So King David got his wife from the king of Geshur, who is, I'll tell you right there, Ptolemy, the father of Mecca. Now, uh, the people that consider. Ooh, ooh, where is the children of Israel in your book? Oh, the children of Israel are acknowledged in our book, but, but, we mean but. Now the prophecies change. You see, this is so, uh, I'm going to show you exactly. This is all, it's all wrapped together. So, Ptolemy. So <clears throat> when you just put Ptolemy, tall me I because <clears throat> again, when you spell the Ptolemaic dynasty, right? Tall May, the E is silent. So let's look at how that was spelled again and again. Tall me. So here, now we got species of plant. How many times have we go into the Old Testament and somebody is named after some plant species? So they name live forever. House of Ptolemy, huh? Somebody else. Now, what I tell you, it's all cool when somebody is insane and they just start looking around and saying shit just because they see something and nobody else does. But I express to you that if we go down these lanes and we type in some off the wall shit and other people have typed it in, then they show you other people have seen all these paths. So it's new to us, but it's not new to the world. Now here, this clearly shows you somebody been looking this up, but as far as I can tell, it's the last name of Nathaniel and Bartholomew. Oh, that's, that's what it fucking said, pretty much say here, right? But now with that comment, they done did the research and Bartholomew is now a surname. Hey, but you know, it's just me, right? And of course, Alexander, he conquered Egypt, which is in Africa. So the idea 
that he lived at a certain time and he started naming places in Alaska after Alexander. A whole coastline, a whole archipelago of, of, of islands. That's what an archipelago is. It's a series of islands. And everything leads to Washington State. Now, you tell me if you see it. It matters on behalf of your soul, not to me. I can't see you. I don't, your image don't matter to me. Wicked is now wicked. Righteous is struggling with righteousness. Wicked struggling with wickedness. You do some wickedness and get caught. You could be going to jail. They know that. It ain't easy being sleazy, right? Easter Islanders, don't forget they call it the Easter Islands. That would be her under the name Eos. Yet all these songs with Inanna's name in it. Misdirection, 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 misdirection. Ooh. Keep dance, dance, dance. Why you got this V E N U S up here? It don't make no sense. If you sat there and said, oh, okay, Justin Timberlake got a video, and in the video, it said, here, it said Venus. Why? But then, you know, we know what we know, what we know, too. So, we got to the Straits of Alexander. And, oh, so, this is a little personal. We're back. We done seen the right information. Uh, we understand exactly what's going on from our own perspective. Don't really understand it. Especially when you get into this uh, family image versus uh, my own, right? But ah, uh, it's enough. It's enough to to keep moving. That brings us to this part of the image, the part of the image that look like I'm my wife. So my wife was like, hey, going to Second Samuel 19 and 18. And I was like, why? And we use the King James Version, so, um, You know, we'll look at the Bible Hub. See what the Bible Hub got to say about this. All right, so I hope everybody can see. I, I could reduce the screen. I don't know if that blew everything up. Just put some. My screen froze, man. Come on. The time's ticking away, but I have to move the screen. All right, so here, let's look. Second Samuel. 19, chapter 19, verse 18. They crossed at the ford to take the king's household over and to do whatever he wished. Then Shemiel, son of Gara, crossed the Jordan. He fell prostrate before the king. All right, so there, that's a little bit bigger, right? So there we can see. And we're looking right here in the beginning of this sentence, all right? And they say it crossed at a fort. Now here, the New Living Translation. What does the New So Living Translation have to do with uh, the dude that was calling on the power of Beelzebule? 
Beelzebule. Okay, so the new, they crossed the shallows. I sound like a little bit of water. Of the Jordan to bring the king's household across the river. So that's the king and the king's belongings, I would presume, right? Okay. So here's a, an English standard version. And they crossed the ford. Now, do you know what a ford is? Let's see what a ford is. See, if we see what a ford is, then we might understand what's being said. They say a ford is a shallow place where water can be crossed. Okay? That makes sense. That's like a, a shallow place. See, a boat, you need water underneath. So a ford is a shallow place that you can cross. So that would be like on foot or on horse, right? So basically, if we go back, that would be like saying, and they crossed at the ford where you could walk on foot or on horse to take the king's household, right? And here, look, shallows, shallow water, right? They crossed the shallows of the Jordan. That's interesting. That was her right there walking by trying to play all patsy and shit like, do -do -do -do, I don't know what you're doing right now. So here we go. The English, they crossed the ford. Remember, shallow water, right? The Berean Bible. And they crossed the ford. They So they, they was on horseback or they was on foot because it's a shallow place to cross, right? It's a shallow place. Now, in the King James Bible, what we read everything out of, Mm, I wonder why. It said, uh, and they went over a ferry boat. Oh, what the f do you mean? What? What do you mean? Huh? What the duck do you want? What do you mean? Look at it. A ford is a shallow place where you don't need no damn boat. Baby, baby, baby. Are they all in on it? You're not going to believe this. What the f is a ferry boat? So, dear Lexwell, my love, my everything, I found something and must show it to you. This is the text I received. As I was reading 2 Samuel 19, all of it, I got to verse 18, and it said, Mother duck in ferry boats was around at the time of King David. And I was like, yeah, ferry boats, baby. Yeah. What? Ferry boat. Ferian. From Proto Germanic Fajan. Far journey. Fajan. Travel by boat. Far journey. Jan. January. We'll get there by this fucking, it's summertime. If we get on this ferry, we'll get there by January type shit. Didn't we just go over another word that was Germanic? I can't remember. I mean, it was just right now. Uh, what? Oh, well. If I remember to make a statement at the beginning of the video, Count how many times Germanics well can we since they call themselves germs, can we say infect? Germanic things infect what we were dealing with with this Bible Undocking Bible So says here as a noun because ferry as a verb just means carry it across. But ferry as a noun actually means a boat, huh? A passage over a river. And what does it, what does it say? Place where boats pass over bodies of water. What year was that? That was... 8,500 B.C. T. Keep the fuck out of here. What's going on with all this shit? Why everything keep coming back to 12 to 1,500? 
Fuckdom Devils is fourteen fifty two. We've taken down Solomon and subjugated the kings of Judea. We have the book, and we have the Macedonian king Alexander to thank, but he has been poisoned, and Ptolemy has taken his prime conquest. Seize them in the Maccabean Revolt and stop them. So the Maccabean revolt, revolt had to happen at the same time as the revolts in Rome. Uh, don't try to distance them out, right? Three cities and one, the Maccabean Revolt, talks about what happened at Jerusalem. So Jerusalem would have been one of those three cities. Hmm, Judea. Jerusalem, Judea, and Egypt. But I bet, right? Because Jesus was born in Judea. Which is, wait, get the what? So I would imagine all this is to cover the tracks of the Roman army after the Greek conquest. That'd be my best guess. Right? And now it's Wikipedia, huh? The encyclopedia that these witches don't create it. And then when we look at fairy, the first thing that we come to, Admiralty Law. Oh, the subjugation of the Negro. Woo, shit. And there's nothing here but some bullshit. Till we get down. Oh, we're gonna get down. We're gonna get down. Oh, we're gonna get down. To the bottom. Oh, to the bottom. To the bottom. Oh, shit. Is it bad? My pass it. Watch me pass it, dude. Stop puckering your big Negro lip top, man. Got him, got him. Oh, man. I lost it. My place. There it is. So, see how I sneak in there and ain't like a chapter records the old is the sole contender ding, 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 ding. the sole contender for the oldest fairy and continuous operation well nobody really asked that but you know we just want to know the oldest 1150 ladies and gentlemen we have broken the 1200 to 1500 parentheses marks Marxisms against Zooms. Can you believe in Statsons? Well, if you say uh, century, no, 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 let's not bullshit people and confuse the numbers. Let's go, pardon me. Let's go forwards with this. We've got some stuff in that's broken the, the rules of. So. And everything else, the numbers just go up. And it's, it's not it's terrible, terrible. We're gold, oldest. Old, gold, 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 gold. And one more. Oldest ferry service, uh, notable services, right? Malaysian state, Pandang. The oldest ferry service is in Asia of all places Malaysian Malaysian Penang Penang Malaysia Penang in the Philippines right so that's the oldest yeah, that's a surprise I didn't see that shit earlier let's go back yeah there you go so, 
We sit here. You sell all this stuff to show you these dates that one would say, that's crazy. That's insane. That doesn't match the Bible. That doesn't match the Bible at all. But when I sit there and show you what David looked like and what the Bible actually looked like, then you go, Negro, you're crazy. I didn't hide this shit. I didn't gather with other men. Hey, look at back breaking, but you need a brace just to carry that book. Can you make a picture with me holding the book? Um, can you pick up the book, King David, to give me a mental image of what it would look like of you holding this book? Hell no, child. You see how big that book is? <laughs> Look, he holds it almost around his belly button. It comes to the middle of his chest. If I go from my belly button to the middle of my chest and I go grab a ruler, you know, it's just, this ain't gonna make no sense to most people. Unless they're Freemasons, then they understand perfectly. But to the rest of us, we skips a little bit. It's going to go back to his pages. So, me wife, she's teaching me boys the Bibles. This gets in the pre educations on what it says in the books before this gets the, the terrible, scary Negro teaching them what the says between the lines. And so they, she tells them, Whoa, reading this. She didn't talk like that, but I don't know. She tells him we're reading this. Uh, we got you at Second Samuel. So she was like, Dad found a picture of King David. <laughs> like, uh, she, so they came downstairs. They were like, What's he look like? What's he look like? They came down. It's like, Oh, and they kept looking at him. And the oldest boy would look at me all weird and shit, like, you know, like cowboy, like. And then he looked, turned back to the computer and looked at David. And he looked back at me. I mean, I, uh, do you want to see what the rest of them look like? And he was like, yeah. So then we went for uh, Russian iconography of the Israelites. So I misspelled all that shit. So, so then I was taking them through the works of, this is what I found out years ago when we, when we was introduced to it by other broadcasters that put up information. Oh shit. Sorry, the screen froze on piece of shit. I will cut your ass. I will put you in a wood chipper. After I save everything. It still froze with something that. Oh. Don't threaten the computer. Threaten the AI. Oh. When you get your synthetic body. I'm going to push you in front of a tunnel grinder. So then I had to get in a conversation with my eight year old. If I say, Dear son, we're going to look online, and we're going to say, Dear robot, what do the Israelites look like? The computer's going to say back to us. These are the images supplied. And ooh, it took out all the white people. It's the other day. So we typed this shit in, and of course, it was all, it was mostly pale people, right? So then I was like, what I did was like, uh, these are the individual characters of the Bible. So. I showed him, this is Isaiah.
AI, I'm going to crush you. It's going to hurt. And so I said, this is Isaiah, right? When I spell it right. So okay, it didn't want to do it. So we went into images. Uh, and then you can see there's a pale picture there, a pale picture there. And then uh, I had to be like, you know, you see all the pictures are pale, you know, but then he's now seeing the picture of David holding the real Bible. So I went ahead and explained, you know, this is the difference. When the corporation fights back like a snake and starts stalling your computer. And so then I would have to be like, okay, here's Afro. Isaiah. And this isn't the pictures that came up. Uh, but you, I'm sure you can see the point. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. So that's going to take us over to YouTube. Okay, so everybody's familiar with. Uh, Allegedly, Dave, Mr. Murphy had a pretty good video. Uh, gonna try to get play the same speed. Do our best. Went into slavery. There are several old books you can find that tell you that uh, when the Israelites were taken into captivity by Nebuchadnezzar, the King of Spain requested that the noble royal house of David. So here is right here on screen the conversation in the 13th century. Oh, look at that! That would be the 1200s uh, between a philosopher named Thomas and King Alonzo, where we may learn if we can believe it. Why? Because the dates. Oh, what about the Book of Daniel? They look to change times and laws, right? What is time? Date. Come on, man. where we may learn if we can believe it that the king of spain who had assisted nebu chad nazir that would mean they would arrive at the same time that would place nebu chad nazir along with king alonzo of spain now who named a child alonzo where are your fresh prince of bel air what's what's carlton's Real name, huh? Come on. Reducing Jerusalem. Assist him in reducing Jerusalem. Oh, that's the Afro people. Against the Afro people. Uh, brought an enormous population into Spain. Well, that would, that would be the J-U-E's. Or the O-U-E's. Or the O-U-I's. Right? Ui. Judea, excuse me, all from either the family of David or at least from the tribe of Judah, and that the what the royal family resided in Seville, Spain, then in Granada, adding that the exiles afterwards had their numbers greatly increased by fugitives from the desolation of the second temple. So, that would be another witness. That would be not only Dave knowing where to find something like this, and I'm sure other material. He does live in Europe, right? And the other things that we've been finding that the Negro was the Judean kicked out of Europe, expelled from Europe. All right? Versus them that say they are, and none of the curses apply to them. That's what everybody says. This isn't something I, I, I don't sit there and say all the time, hey, none of these curses apply to them. I always focus on these curses apply to us. But a lot of people that broadcast, 
say that, which I'm not trying to reduce oh, or anything from me. I'm just saying I didn't come up with that. That is the wisdom of others type thing, you know. So as we go further, good, we're taken to, to Spain. In this reference, which is from the Scattered Nation, a Jewish Christian magazine, it says, yeah, the king of Spain, who had assisted Nebuchadnezzar in reducing Jerusalem, brought an enormous population into Spain, all from either the family of David or at least from the tribe of Judah. And that royal family resided first in Seville, then in Granada adding that the exiles afterwards had their numbers greatly increased by fugitives from the desolation of the second temple. So when the Romans attacked, the same thing happened. Now, there, again, there are several references to this event. Now, this one is from a book called The History of the Jews. It says the Spanish Jews maintained uh, that they'd be yeah, we, we, we've never seen this before. Pride of ancestry, which was a characteristic of the Jews in this country as a... See, again, don't you see that with all this black talk? You allowed to insult them every which way, but they, 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 they can't do that to you. That's where our, our efforts are wasted. Characteristic of Jews of this country as of the other Spaniards was not content with the fact that the Jewish colony in Spain had possessed the right of citizenship. That's America too, right? Just like in America. Long before the Visigoths and other Germanic tribes had set their terrainous iron foot on the land, but desires. Germanics, right? So you see that right there, right? Oh, I let it play. So, and transported hither after the destruction of the temple by the Babylonian conqueror Nebuchadnezzar. So here we say, do 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 do, do. and then it says, uh, sorry, Germanic tribes set their tyrannous foot on right tyranny. Uh, 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 what do we call that today? We call it, oh, 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 terrorists, right? On the land, but deserve to lay claim to even higher antiquity for it, right? Okay. It's attacked, the same thing happened. Now, there, again, there are several references to this event. Now, this one is from uh, the book called The History of the Jews. It says the Spanish Jews maintained uh, that they've been transported hither after the destruction of the temple by the Babylonian conqueror Nebuchadnezzar. Certain Jewish families, the Ibn Dawid and the Abarbanels, boasted descent from the royal house of David. The numerous Spanish Jewish family of... And maintained that their ancestors ha had been settled since time immemorial partially in the district of Lucina and partially in the environs of Toledo and Seville. Nasi also traced back its pedigree to King David and proved it by means of genealogical tables and seals. The family of Ibn Abalbilis, whatever that is, uh, was more modest. It dated its immigration only from the destruction of the Second Temple. The Roman governor of Spain begged the conqueror of Jerusalem to send him some noble families from the capital of Judea. See, that's the reverse of the story. Alfonso and the other one saying he asked. Nebuchadnezzar records that Al Al Alfonso begged. And that Titus complied with his request. So... Oh, so it's Titus. It's not even Nebuchadnezzar, right? Because it's, it's the Roman time at this point. So the other one is Alfonso with Nebuchadnezzar, right? Up here. And then the complete destruction is the Roman governor, Titus, because what? Vespasian, his father, has died before, right? By, 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 and what happened when Vespasian, right? Nero is alive, Vespasian. They're all alive at the same time!
Nero is emperor. Three rebellions start in major cities conquered by Rome. Vespasian is where? He's, he's up in, uh, 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 he's finishing off what Caesar started uh, up north in, in, in Britain or something. Right? He's called back to Rome. I think he's in France or something. He's called back to Rome. He finds out the news. He's got to take this long ass trip and bring his army back to Rome. He meets with the emperor, leaves the emperor, and then Nero commits suicide by stabbing himself in the throat. Then Vespasian takes over, but he is not named emperor. But when he dies, he is deified by Titus's request. Raphaim, Raphaim. So when the tribe of Raphaim died, died out, or were murdered, whichever went off, who took over the Greeks? Then, of course, who the Romans? Whoever's taking over seems to have the right to deify their people. There was a, a, a population, a massive population of Israelites from the royal house of David living in Spain. It turns out that Adolf Hitler had a book commissioned to follow the uh, lineage of one particular family from the uh, line of King David. I'm not going to, even, uh, not going to attempt to pronounce this, the name of this book, but um, within it, it actually has a, a line, um, a direct lineage from King David all the way through, well, to, to the present day um, at the time in, in the 1940s. If you look closer at this uh, lineage, you'll find uh, at number 47, Don, and we use the English pronunciation here, Don J. Page 132 and 133, it's in So you can see this dude right here look like Tupac. That's the Oriental. In that's the real Oriental. So that's now who is the Orient? The people of the East. We will see this all, all in a set in a second. All right. So they tell you who the real Jews are in the. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm not even going to get any further into it. Now, watch this. This should make your jaw hit the ground. Shia, Don Yehuda, Don Joseph, Don Solomon, Don Gedaliah, and Don David. So, I was able to find in the Jewish Encyclopedia a correspondence with that, that lineage that's written in uh, this German book. So, at the top, we have uh, a Yahya Ibn Yaish. Now, um, that might... Slow down, Dave. 
<laughs> ya ya iban ya ish. Right? Look, David ibn ya 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 negro son of Gilead. This, this is what Negroes are. This is why they call us Negroes. The Judeans that came out of, see, see, this is all this shit. They call us Negroes. That's that our name. Uh, da, 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 da. Now, the real history shows it was our name. Now they taught you to call yourself black. Now, somebody got to figure out what happened that, that, that they figured out that Negro, which means Judean, it don't mean Israelite, it means Judean. I don't seem like it fits anywhere, but if you go back to this slide, look at how this word is would be pronounced. So Jashia, right? Well, um, there is no J in this language. J just came about recently, so it would be pronounced Ya. It's Ya. Now the Ch sound, well, that's English, but in the Paleo Hebrew, it would be Ch. Okay, that Ch sound. So it should be pronounced Yahya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah. to the Western ear will sound like yeah, 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 yeah. So going back to the uh, Jewish encyclopedia, we have yeah, yeah, Ibn Yaish, right? And we have again the uh, the lineage Joseph, Solomon, Gedaliah, and David. You see, we jump um, Joseph there because it's a, Joseph is the, is the son of uh, Solomon. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're talking about this this line. Also, it talks about um, Yahya, Yahya ibn Yaish. It said he assumed the name Negro. So that's actually where we get uh, the name Negro applied to us from. There we have it. Flourished in Lisbon, Portugal, in the 11th century, died about 1150. That's two things, right? So you can see this is after King David. But it's not thousand years. It's not even hundreds of years. So now that puts David, Ptolemy, and Jeepers Bakers before 1150. He was held in high esteem among the Jews and King Alfonso I honored him for his courage. After the conquest of Santurium, the king presented him with two country houses that had belonged to the Moors. This is why the Moors hate the Jews. Because the Spaniards, the real people that use the name Spain, I'm not talking about the 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 people that say they are Spanish and are not. That would be uh, the Basque people, who are the uh, the the link to the Cro Magnum, Magna. So, see, he was presented with homes that belonged to the Moors. Now, see, no this makes sense. They was given their homes, and then a couple of years later, right, the terraneous iron foot over the Germanics and the other group that they said, because we all know that he's coming from Asia. It's the Goths, the Visigoths, the, the, the Ostrogoths, uh, uh, the Vandals, the Alans. So, where he assumed the name Negro. And then it's, so we today are affected by this choice he made right here. That's, this is why we call Negro.
I, my my little picture is is, is down in the corner right here. That's why I keep looking there. You know. So here you have it. This one, the grandson, lived in Lisbon in the middle of the 13th century and was also wealthy, built a synagogue at his own expense, and he was the author of a Talmudic commentary that no longer is that is no longer extant or existent, right? It's in, it's in the Vatican. All right. Now, son of Joseph Ibn Yahya, number two, died before 1300. He endeavored to check the growing love of luxury amongst his Corolingalists, Corolingalists, something like that, in order that they might not incur the hatred and envy of the Christian. So, not much has changed in, right, 800 years. The hatred and envy of the Christian. And we live in a society where both groups were brought over as slaves and one group's records have been hidden And to those who love me unto the fifth and the fourth generation, right? And those who hate me to the third, fourth generation. Here we go. Famous for his physical beauty and also for his poetic ability, he left Portugal with his brother and settled in Castile. He was the author of some liturgical poems, but they were destroyed in a conflict. Flagration. So you can see like all the works of them have tried to be eradicated from Europe. Joseph was a pupil of Solomon Ben Adrid, at whose death he wrote an allegory in so called echo rhyme that has often been reprinted. Oh, he was a pre rapper. He defrayed the cost of repairing a synagogue and built in Catatil by one of his ancestors. That was built by one of his ancestors. So, here David bin Yahya, Negro bin Gilead. They love this Negro term so much they put it in the title. A prominent figure during the war between the kings of Castile. See, again. They can. They, you don't think they title been taken? They're not calling themselves Israelites. They're not calling themselves Judeans. The proud name that replaces this is now Negro. And when Obama heard this, he said, "Well, well we got to change these birth certificates. I don't care how much it costs." A prominent figure during the war between the kings of Castile and Portugal. Right, Spain and Portugal, by divulging a secret, he succeeded in frustrating the plot of Queen Leonor, Len, Leonora to murder her son in law, and as a reward, he was appointed chief rabbi of Castile. Well, here we are using these names, rabbi. That's the second time I've seen that, so uh, I have to. Take those words back. That shoe tastes good. While King Joa of Portugal disposed of his estates in that country at the time of his death, which occurred. See, this is them getting kicked out of Portugal and then siding with Spain, right? But then, you know, getting kicked out of Spain and then going into France and then getting kicked out of France and then getting kicked out of Europe and then ending up in America as, oh, what? Slaves that escaped Europe into Africa and, right? We're going to kick you out of Europe. And then we're, you're, you're captured on African soil. Now we're going to come and buy you from the Africans and sell you to the Indians. See, this should show you we don't work together because really dumb Mother duckers, what have done this to us? Really dumb. Oh, 
at the time of his death, 1355, he was held. He held the post of Moxarelli for King Fernandad of Castile, right? And same King Fernandad that kicked us out. Fernandad living in 1300. Oh. Um. This. Bernadad right here. Wait. He was the Count of Castile. No, we want King. So King of Leon from twelve thirty to twelve thirty one. I'm pretty sure this is what we do we deal with, right? And, and so let's see King Joe of Portugal. For Yale. And Columbus, right? That's 1452, right? John the First, also called John, was Portugal. They don't say Yayo. Why won't they just say Yayo? Okay, that's the same. Okay, eight, 13, 13, 1357 to 1433. But Columbus got the goddamn document in 1452. He changed all times. Isn't this weird? This encyclopedia is correct. It's them the ones that are lying. So, watch this, watch this. Portuguese family in the Middle Ages. Middle Ages. Members which are prominent in Portugal, Spain, Italy, Turkey, certain individuals of, fam of the family bore the additional cog cognomen Negro. What is a cognomen? A cognomen is a third personal name given to an ancient Roman citizen. So if Rome speak fucking Latin, you're trying to tell me that's a Latin word? You are seeing this, right? So they tell us that it's the Middle Ages, but the word is an ancient word that's English. It's not Latin, it's not Greek, it's English. Look again, a third personal name given to an ancient Roman citizen. The ancient Rome is the Middle Ages, or what we've been taught is the Middle Ages. So, Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you can see all this shit. So, starts with an image of the Bible that's a foot big. It's a foot long. 
Probably more. Look at that big ass book, man. Then we get these little teeny Bibles, and the world falls in the sand. See how that works? Take our history away, Afro people. Don't start that fake ass Gentile stuff. The Bible's for the world. No, y'all stole it. And this is how it is. The Council of Nicaea. See, a Christian Roman Emperor Constantine does the same shit. Constantine over here in Turkey, right? Nero ain't but a few dudes from Constantine. Right? Then here you go with the council of Nicaea. So my son is said, they all they're all wearing fish hats. I said, No, they're all wearing hats to this fallen angel that came and taught them all this evil stuff. He called Dagon, but they respect him more as the word Oanus. O Anus. <laughs> Oh, anus. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. It reminds me of that foreigner song. I don't even know why. I did you hear? Ha, ha. So, this is them and their different consoles. All right, look. This is the Council of Nicaea, but they're wearing this. This is the Council of Nicaea, and they all wore fish hats. Well, which image is it? See the, see, the, see the circle of the jerks? Oh, they actually are sitting in a circle, too. You see this? This is the game they play. This, 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 this. So that leads us to the council of Nicaea, right? And... Excuse me. So this leads us to the Council of Nice here, right? And there's a, a Council of Nicaea with Arius depicted as defeated by the Council lying under the feet of Emperor Constantine, right? So that's what they're showing you. This image that you see here each time is Constantine. All right, so let's just leave that. All right, now this, this is where I started myself. Accepted by the Catholic Church, accepted accepted by the east orthodox church so that would be eastern europe right i would assume right and then the oriental orthodox church i was like what is that and the church of the east and i was like what is that so this is where it started to get what is the oriental church the or dracula it's knocking don't let him in don't let them in. No, 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 no. The Oriental churches are Eastern churches adhering to Miaphysite, by Christ, Christology. Okay? That's what that is. Probably click on it another day. Now, what is the church of the East? Right, the kings of the east, the church of the east. What does it say? The church of the east, or the East Syriac Church, also called the Church of the Seleucia, the Seleucid Empire. Cestiphon, the Cestiphon, the king, of the, the Persian Church, the, the Assyrian Church. Wow, this started to look just like. Particular pillars list titles. The Babylonian Church. This look exactly like, like his titles. Or the Nestorian Church. Now that one's a little little bit new to me. The is the one of the three major branches of the Nicene Eastern Crusade of a bitch. Council of Nicaea is the so you see who did mm. 
we should leave right there on a cliffhanger. Right there on a cliffhanger. Right? You don't stop there. So who decided this? Who decided this? Right here. These people ain't shit. Is this. Psalms 83. And how are they in unison? Right here. You ain't seen no buddy from the church of the Seleucid. You ain't I ain't even know they exist, so I would assume you didn't. You ain't seen none of these people bend over and kiss no feet of no Negroes in Africa. But you see these people at this church was bending over and kissing feet in Africa. So no. Nah. So you see they done hear the power at the bottom of the list. So I scrolled down and the first thing that came up on one of these things was uh oh who was in control? So it was uh convoked by Constantine the first. Now, if the one up top, they hid the most important person at the bottom of the list. So, Horatius of Cordoba don't really matter. But Pope Alexander the First of Alexandria? And they from the east. So that get back to the get down map. Woo! Gotta get down and body to the foot map. Nicaea, right there. Get the f out of here. Don't, don't give me no Africa bullshit. And he spit him so hard that his hair was straightened. Uh, uh, fertility. Smack you back to natural. Nicaea, right there. It don't matter you go around calling everything Alexander. It don't matter they go around calling everything Alexandria. Nicaea right there. This city named Alexandria. This city named Alexandria. This city named Alexandria. If you track this family circus trail, that city gonna be named Alexandria. This city named Alexandria. This city named Alexandria. This the only city that's got a different name. What? So I'm not going to fall for that. That's where Pope Alexander came from. Or that's where the meeting's at. So I would actually, since it says of, my final guess is going to be right here. But this is where the meeting took place. That's Nicaea. They're at the tip, northern tip of India. Somewhere around Judea, Jerusalem, and Egypt. Where you keep thinking his army's on foot and they, and they went to Africa. But they came over here named... Named it names that you can't even find today unless you unless you find it through the hidden. How do you find it through the hidden? Well, it's called. What, what is his What is his main city? Alexander Shante. In the Ferengana Valley. So to find it, you have to type in Ferengana Valley, and then it coughs it right up. Far Ghana. Valley. This is where Alexander went. Transoxia. Between the rivers where original Babylon would be. Right? 
Silk Road. Hmm? There's another map that we deal with a lot. Kingdoms of Central Asia, Ferengana Valley, uh, Jackland, Jutland, you know, Ferengana Valley, Uzbekistan, the well of one of Shen, Shem's sons. This now, again, if you didn't believe before, validates most of the work I've showed you before. This isn't a me thing, and when we get to the end of this one, uh, we'll look over here. And then we're going to do the, 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 the council. We're going to read a bit about it. And these are other church councils. All these church councils, they're just stripping down this book. That's what they're doing. To make the world fall into sin. Do not go to the right. Do not go to the left. Do not go to Christianity. Do not go to Islam or Muslim or whatever they, 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 they say it is. When we serve the Most High, the Creator of every with the one that makes us breathe, the one that makes the grass blades, the one that made the entity that's the sun, that made the entity that's the moon, that most high, none other. All right, everybody, we're going to stop here. I appreciate you coming in, listen to my banner, my barks, my whacks, my yells, my screams, my whispers, my thoughts. Listen, if you disagree with these things, you know, you do, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure we're solidifying all this stuff. Uh, look, if you find it in your heart to uh, to help us out, we could really appreciate it. Uh, this is what we do. And if we stop doing this, it's because the lights are out and the internet's out. And, you know, there's, there's no way to do this without you. I'm not talking to my regular donors. In fact, usually when I do this, ask for people to help on this level. It's not to the people that always do. Again, we have a thousand constant viewers. If a small percentage of viewers donated, we would be not making these statements at the end of videos. It's that simple. I don't want your money to get rich or get wealthy or sit on my ass or anything like that. It takes time to sit in this chair and to read this stuff and to figure out the steps to present it. At the same time, you might think I'm wasting my life, but you're watching. Uh, again, it, this takes away from my family and the things that if I wasn't doing this, having a family, I would have to work. And I'm not giving you the big wine and cry story. If you're not gonna, you're not gonna. Nothing's gonna change your heart. You're that type of person. You just watch every fucking video for six years or more. But hey, that's the way cookies get eaten, right? So I don't know, whatever. Uh, see you in the next one. We'll cover the councils more in depth. Then we'll get back to the book of Matthew, and then we'll pick up with the book of Abraham. I mean, book of uh, Jubilees. Now that we see more information and the golden map puts us right here in the north of India. Now, if we sit here and say, hey, where was the Council of Nicaea, right? Where does they say it took place at? Because we see already on the map where Nicaea is. So what are they going to try to sell us? That it was in Turkey. You have the ability to think for yourself. May the most high bless your lentil. The post over your door of your house that holds your household, which is your family. That's that's the Passover thing.